Good morning. It is seven o'clock. It's not five o'clock. It's okay. We get a we get a day pass, right? We get a pass. I'm so bad. Ready. Ready. Good morning. Riley, are you ready to go to school? You ready to go to school? You want to go to school? Riley, you want to go in the car? You ready to go to school? Ready to go? You ready to go to school? It is December 1st, you guys. Yeah. Oh, no. What's wrong, bud? Twenty-four more days till Christmas. Yeah. You guys can open your advent calendar when you get home from school. Your chocolates. Let's go. Yeah, we can do that when we get home. Yes. And we'll do it for free. Activate. Yeah. Discover. Of course. See terms and learn more at discover.com slash online privacy protection. No. Here we go. Gotta put the work in. Ten pounds down by Christmas. Alright. So, we did it. 1.68 miles down. Alright, so it is noon. The little two are eating lunch and I'm getting my a couponer's guide to gifting up. This is day, I think. What day are we on? I don't even know. Let's see, let's go to my hub. Let's see. We are on day 12. So every single day I am posting a new gifting idea up until December 24th. So today's video, I partnered with Cosmetic RX for some cosmetic items, Tretinoin and Latisse. For Latisse is for eyelashes and Tretinoin is for acne, but it's also been shown to help with anti-aging. So I was this close to getting Botox and then Cosmetic RX reached out and I was like, perfect, let's try this. And let me tell you, it's a miracle in a jar. Not only is my acne clearing up, but my fine lines around my eye area are getting a little smaller. So it's definitely working. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get some work done until it's time for me to go pick up my bigger kids at school. I have a final project to finish for my class. So after this next class, I only have two more classes and then I graduate with my bachelor's in sociology. So I'm super excited about that. It's been a long time coming. I started college at 18 and struggled along the way. And then I picked back up almost three years ago this summer. So it's definitely been a goal of mine to finish school and we're almost there. So I'm so excited about that. But I have, I'm not the best writer and my final project has writing involved in it, but I've done so good the whole semester that I only have to get a 29% and I'll pass the class. But I don't want to just pass the class. I want to at least uh, keep the current grade I have, which is an 86, or maybe even potentially get an A in the class. I'm like keeping my fingers crossed that I might be able to pull an A out um, to, you know, boost my GPA because I don't want to go to school and just, you know, barely pass through. Like I want to do well because that's my personality. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it well. So that's what we're on right now. I probably should eat, but I'm not hungry. I'm trying to get my water in because I'm doing Advent to where I'm doing three thing, three goals a day, which is run a mile, which I already did that. Uh, drink a gallon of water a day and clean up something annoying in my house. So I'll probably do the windows and deep clean the windows in my kitchen area. That's the plan, I think. I think. And then I need to call my mom. If your mom is still around and you haven't called her today, this is your sign to go call your mom. 
just go call your mom. All right, so if you guys have not looked up the state controller's office for your city, you should because you might have unclaimed funds, which I do. So I have been a stockholder with Disney for like my whole childhood up into the present. I still hold stock and I had a ton of past dividend payments that are due to me. So, so far I've gotten about like $90 or so from unclaimed funds. My husband has like almost a thousand dollars. Um, so I'm starting the process of that, but it's so easy. You can do it online and do not get other like companies to do it for you because they're going to charge you a fee for it and they might even have some like additional billing um, fees attached to it so it's super easy to do it and if you need help uh, let me know because I'm I am a paralegal um, that's what I went to school for originally and decided I didn't want to work in the legal field just because it just wasn't for me um, but I am really good at like forms and whatnot so if you guys needed any help filling those out just let me know but you likely have funds owed to you well maybe um it might not be anything big it might only be a few cents but if you have funds out there you go claim your fund why are you dancing because i'm about to turn in my final project that i have been going to sonic you know, that looks a lot like your I slept until 7 in the morning dance. I did, and I already told them that I was punished by having to go run later. Yeah, that's that's your I woke up at 7 in the morning because I can dance. It's, it's like the same one. Oh, I can't even turn it in until December 2nd. Oh, so I guess you can do your favorite thing, which is called procrastinate. No, it's not open for me to turn in. I know, so you can put it off. She loves to press the Well, I'm not just technically. I'm going to turn it in. I'll turn it in tomorrow. Or, you know what would be funny is if I turned it in at 12.01 a.m. Just to show what Just uh, to show my professor that I got it done. What do you think, Riley? What? Oh, okay. What do you think? Riley, they love you. They love you, Riley. Come on. What does Riley think? Riley says, send me some bones. Can you send me some bones? She says, can you send me some bones? That's good. Don't green around kids. If you are responsible for savvy kids, I'm off work at 5.30. Kid duty is now on my husband, so I'm going to take a shower and take some greens. <laughs> Much prefer this over alcohol just today because I'm 35. And I do not like hangovers. But this one... I put it in half, and then I put this in half as well because I made a mistake on Sunday night and I took this whole half and I was in a place that I did not like. So I think I had a little too much, but cheers.
<clears throat> All right, so this is the stuff I was talking about earlier, tretinoin. This stuff is so, so good, um, but it's very drying and it can be irritating. Uh, this is the not the right ointment. That's for something else. I have so many ointments. <laughs> What's wrong with me with all my ointments? <laughs> but to keep moisture in on my face, I go in with hyaluronic acid serum first. This is from the Inky List. It's like seven bucks. Got it at Sephora, seven bucks. And then I'm going to go in with my tretinoin gel. This stuff is so potent, you guys. Like it, you could smell the chemicals when you put it on, but I dab it in my troubled areas for anti-aging right around my eyelid area and even over here with my expression lines. But then I also take it along my chin where my active breakouts are. Like this one is popping up right now. I don't know what that came from, but this should have it cleared up by the morning time. This stuff is so potent, like I said. So I will let that set. And then I need to put another like moisture rich thing on top. And I need to wash my hands so I don't accidentally ingest it. Then I need to apply my ointments because I have been a crazy person on my lawn with all of my Santas in the grass. And I have been eaten alive by either spiders or by mosquitoes. I don't know, but whatever bit me just was like, you know what? One isn't enough. Let's just bite her all around her ankle and her heel. And for better measure, let's just bite her on the other side too. So like literally my foot has been attacked by some sort of bug. I don't know what it is, but that's what my ointment's for. And then I need to put my anti-itch cream because these itch like a bitch. Literally itch like a bitch. And I have no self-control, so I will itch. I will itch it like crazy. All right. Wash my hands again. And... Now that my tretinoin has set a little bit, I'm going to add some under eye. And there's like nothing you really need to add under your eyes except for something like moisture based. So you could even use like CeraVe ointment. Like I think eye creams are like the worst thing to spend money on because you literally could just put moisturizer on and it's gonna do the same thing because there's no like real anti-aging in a lot of the products all of it is promoting anti-aging but it's all you know to sell product and to make money but you can't stop a natural process which is anti-aging unless you get intervention like tretinoin like what i'm using or botox which i'm totally not against it's just way outside of my price bracket but anyways i'm going in with the clarins double serum and just dabbing this. No, I'm not gonna rub it. I'm just gonna dab it. Here we go. And sit. And then I'll put moisturizer on later. But this is just like the first. This is the first process. So I'm ending the night watching let's make a deal chris and i are actually going to have our episodes air on the 9th of january so if you don't know my husband and i went on let's make a deal uh first week of november so we actually went twice so they filmed two episodes with us so definitely uh watch us once that comes live to find out if you know we want a bunch of money or not so I'm going to end Vlogmas Day 2 out. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos, and I will talk to you in the morning. Hopefully I wake up at 5.